got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha <laughs> ha. You're mad. Miss Wig, Miss Wig. I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Miss Wig, Yana. Hello. 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 Hey. Hey. Fine. That's good. I just think you're doing such a great job, and I love what you're doing your work. And I hate they're doing this to you. Just continue what you're doing, okay, Miss Nana? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. This is Nana. This is Miss Nana. I love you, Miss Netta, and I'm so sorry for calling you. I see all the haters calling you, and I'm telling my favorite. Where's my number? It don't matter where my number is, because it's going to get changed when I get off this live and I get through TikTok. You do need to change it. It is. I'm going to on the comments. Yes. But I'm on TikTok, and this is where all the, the strollers are at. But I probably need to get up off of TikTok, too, But because uh, I got something I got to do. I'm trying to cook. They just blowing my phone up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be a part of the problem. That's okay. No, you're not part of the problem because you ain't calling here cussing me out and being disrespectful. Thank you for calling, though. You're so welcome. You have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. Hello? 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 What the fuck is going on? My number going on. That's okay. I promise y'all, when I get off this live, it's going to be changed. I mean, my phone is blowing up. Hello? Hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm finna do? I'm just finna shut this shit down. Moses up and down, so things that you wouldn't take serious. I love when, when when men talk to women about their hormones. I love okay. it. Oh, I, wow. I absolutely, I love it. Nah, you in your bag. Huh? I I, I, huh? Nah, I ain't agreeing with that piece. What? Because y'all want us to acknowledge your homos. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even talking about that. But I just love when men talk to women about wow. their about their hormones and what we experience. But you we, know. Experience you know, we experience it too. Your hormones too. Oh when y'all we pregnant. experience oh it too. Oh my god! And you want us to be cognizant oh of it god. when y'all are going you, through I, it. Please, I don't want you to be cognizant of shit. I don't. I don't. And That's, you never had no baby. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, ish. Ish. Whoa. Niggas in here have endured women that have had kids okay. and had to put okay, up with the hormonal it. changes. You got it. What are you, you talking got it. about? You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. I think that's a real point, though. What? What you saying? Yeah, I mean, you motherfucking right, nigga. We had to endure the no, hormonal no, 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 changes we that are women go through. We are so far off fucking topic, it's not even funny, and that's where my frustration is, that we're going so far off topic. I, I will cut you to up. If I see you, I don't fight fair, bitch. I use weapons, hooker. We don't want you in this house, you piece of shit. I will up. Me, up. me up now, hey, hey. Talk to me or anybody talk to me like I don't, that. I don't give, give a, a I don't care. I think there's probably one other job that you're about to get into that is really hard and really scary. You're about to be a mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is that feeling? Pops. 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 Oh, let me get pops. it together. Pops. About to yeah. be a pops. pops. Please tell me how exciting that is for you and what you're looking forward to most. I'm super excited. Um, well, I mean, I guess I'll just drop it. He's here. Um, so he's here. Yes. Seven, eight, 24. Um, yeah. Seven pounds, eight ounces. Yeah. That's my man. Um, I love he, that. He is amazing. Uh, they say, you know, as soon as you see him, it's just like everything that you thought mattered just goes out the window. Mm -hmm. And that's literally what happens. Um, it's crazy kind of sucks because i gotta leave yeah you know but at the same time uh yeah it, it, he, he'll understand i uh, for the record i was tipped off about this what i'm about to share with our voters uh, our viewers rather uh, by my 16 year old who truly daughter, is an who expert. is an actual right, member of, right. of gen c kamala harris appears to be leaning into this this the singer charlie xcx charlie xcx who i do know quote brat you're just that girl who is a little messy and likes to party and maybe says some dumb things sometimes, end quote. So is the idea that we're all kind of brat and, and Vice I, President Harris is brat? I don't... Well, 
I don't know if you're Brad. I think you right, aspire to us, be Brad. Right. Okay, you don't right. just become Brad. Oh, okay. You have to try. You can right. work at it. I will, I will aspire to be Brad. <laughs> I will aspire. But, I mean, the point is that she is, whether it's her or some very clever people who work for her, going right for them in, in a language of their own that n apparently nobody at this table speaks. To quote <laughs> another generation. Except for you, because you think you're Maybe this is your generation. She's going I'm to... I'm the closest. Own. You're a millennial. Take it easy. So I, you tell me, is this your... She's going to own it. She's going to own it. Own it. Exactly. Well... But if you were not invited by me personally, and I don't know you personally, at 1 o'clock, I'm going to have to ask y'all to do it because it's literally no room in here. This is supposed to be an intimate event. I don't know how to turn it to a party. I don't know how... I, I appreciate y'all for supporting me, but this is very overwhelming for me. I can't even enjoy the fucking project. So I'm going to ask y'all after y'all done listening, or if now... Y'all want to leave, y'all can. I'm so sorry. I'm still expecting more guests. Y'all, like some people are just bum rushing upstairs. It's a lot. So I'm asking y'all to respect my privacy. At 1 o'clock, I would like y'all to leave, okay? If I did not invite y'all personally. And I know who I invited personally. So at 1 o'clock, just leave, okay? I've been thinking that we really yeah. all need a tremendous yeah. hug in the world right now. Yeah. But in our country, we need you to be Mamala of the country. Yeah. 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 No, I yeah. So you were just in the No Jumper podcast. I was. And you was looking real cute in Adam Lasso X T. <laughs> Adam and I had a little one too, and now um, he cheated on me with a girl who kind of, I think he just wanted to fuck with a black girl. That's what I was going to say. I was like, how is the white pink? <sighs> was it good? Know. I don't know. Like, you can't give it a one through ten. A one. We miss you holding that peach, Kim Zolziak. I mean, do you think there's any chance at all you would enter the fray with those group of women again? You know, I've been saying no all day, and then something just hit me about the cast. Like, Portia, who I'm um, one of my dear friends, she's adorable. I absolutely love her. Um, somebody had mentioned that Phaedra is a possibility. Adore her. She makes me laugh. Kenya's gone. Best decision ever. So, you know, I've been saying no all morning, but when I thought about Portia, I was like, well, maybe I could because we do have such a good time together and she's so funny. She might be the medicine that I need, per se. I totally agree with you, but of course, I'm so glad you just mentioned Kenya, because I got to ask you, when you got the news that Kenya got the boot mid-season on this new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kim Zolciak, what went through your head? Thank God. No, I I was told by another housewife, because I don't watch anything on TV, and I was absolutely flabbergasted, flabbergasted and disgusted by what she did. It was the lowest of the low. But I've always known how flawed her character was. She talked about my kids in the past inappropriately. She was very disrespectful to me. I don't think it's one thing to get mad and say things or whatever. You don't ever bring somebody's kids into the mix ever. And um, I think it's the best decision ever. She should have left many years ago. If I was there that day in that lobby, that physical altercation would have not happened. I would have controlled my mother. And I definitely would have been telling Anna, like, we're not doing that. So I never sent nobody to sick nobody, and I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even put my mother in that situation. That's weird. One, not in my character. Two, three, y'all are forgetting that me and Anna were really, like, we were close, close. And still, that I still love Anna. I was still defend. I was still not letting nobody hurt her. It hurt me to hurt her. Feel me? So, again, if I was there, that wouldn't have happened. 
I wouldn't have let that shit go down. And I was very disappointed in both my mother and Anna. You feel me? But it happened. So now we got to move forward. Not everything is perfect. Look at Callie and Gretch. Them bitches went from fighting each other to fighting other bitches for each other. You feel me? Y'all are not in our shoes to judge us. I love you, Seki. You feel me? It became real life shit when that shit happened with my mother and Anna. It became real life hard. Because I love this girl so much. This is my sister. This is my friend. This is someone I've built a bond with and went through a journey with. You understand? And then this is my mother who gave me life. You understand? So I was put in a bind. Like I, when I called my mother to come to Puerto Rico, it was not to fight Anna. I literally called my mother like, hey, mom, I'm going to fly you out because I just need a hug. You feel me? So um, just remember when y'all watch this scene with me and Anna on Sunday, this is two people who love each other whose hands were forced to do what we had to do. Should I do it? Uh, do not come. I'm going to do it. Do not come. I'm going to come. As a medic, in the business that I'm in would be economical disaster and suicide and uh anybody but, in their right mind wouldn't do that to themselves but do you understand why the simon wiesenthal center says what is he talking about you know what is this guy saying is he advocating exterminating jews people are sensitive about that eric from georgia eric hi how do you feel about the beer company that pulled the commercial you endorsed because of your anti-jew lyrics well, anti-Semitic lyrics would be a nicer way of putting it. Well, the lyrics aren't really anti-Semitic, and I... We're talking about the Simon Wiesenthal Center, which said that your album should not be distributed and that people should and, not listen for, to it. For people to think that I'm talking about... I'm talking about one man that happens to be Jewish. But if this man was green then I would still talk about it. If he was black, I would still talk about him. I guess what hurts Jewish people uh, is the fact that you have to say he's Jewish. Why not just say Jerry Heller? Uh, well, you know, what you, when, what you end up doing is saying, okay, this guy's a Jew, and you just sort of said it in, in your answer uh, to, the, to this young man. You said, um, well, are they, is the Simon Wiesenthal Center saying it's okay for people like Jerry Heller and Jewish managers to essentially exploit young black men. I don't think anybody would say that, but the question, is it okay for Jerry Heller and Jewish managers? You saying, I look just like you imagine. What's that mean, honey? Y'all kill me with these vague fucking statements. What you trying to say? Because, see, I went and looked at your page, and you look exactly like what I thought, not shit. Because I'm going to be clear with you, baby. I'm not going to beat around no motherfucking bushes with your dumb ass. You look like the struggle is motherfucking real. You look like you need a job. You need. You look like you need to clean up around that motherfucker. You, you look like you need a motherfucking bath. You look like meth is your motherfucking habit. That's what you look like. So if we're going to be motherfucking clear and we're going to make motherfucking statements, bitch, make them. Because I'm going to make mine. And mine's going to be very motherfucking clear. So what did I look like to you? Because let me tell you what I am. When you look at me, bitch, you see success. You see a motherfucking boss. That's what you see. You don't see no motherfucking struggle over here. The only thing I struggle with is keeping my shit together instead of putting my motherfucking hands on folks. That's the only thing you see here. So let's be motherfucking clear, boo. Don't come at me sideways with these stupid ass motherfucking comments. If you want to know what a motherfucking boss looks like, bitch, you looking at one. A bitch that handles big business. That's not you though I see. You over there skating on some regular ass skates that need some goddamn Ajax on them to clean them motherfuckers back up. That's, girl, 
if any motherfucker ever needed to sit they stupid ass down, you that bitch. You that bitch. Sit your stupid motherfucking ass down. Don't you never motherfucking come for me. A trash ass motherfucker and you got something to say about some goddamn body, bitch, please. Is your ass tattooed? Part of it is. Part of it? <laughs> like one half of it? One half of my ass is tattooed. Is that true? It's true. As Which his doctor, half? I'll feel right, that question. Right yeah. yeah. <laughs> your right left. half of your yeah. ass is. Yeah. <laughs> Will there be an ass tattoo for your left half? Probably. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Saving, like, I have a, a few spots left and I'm saving them for something special. That special something? Yeah. Okay. That's so I was, I was tricked into doing this. Um, and. Uh, you know, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, so, um, anyway, uh, and so I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I... All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. Killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and there's lots of people in that situation now. Right. It's not pretty. And lots of demolished kids. Yes. Yeah, so, well, that's a, good, that's a good reason to be the final straw. All right, so let's. So I vowed to destroy the, mind, the woke mind virus after that. And we're making some progress. Join the club. Yeah. Kind of calm her down a little bit. Like, you know, this was bound to happen. Been separated. You know, you said he can do what he wants to do. You can do what you want to do. And, you know, this woman was the one that ran up and kissed him. It's not like... So... How did, as Kyle's sister, how did that make you feel? Well, I knew eventually we were going to see something, but of course, you know, that hurts me. But yet, it, it is what it is, and he is allowed to go on dates and, you know, kiss if he wants to. What they call attorney generals when they're attorneys general? They call them general. So yes, general, they call me General Harris. General Harris, and, and so she when hates. She, that. When he, it was so perfect. She's General Harris, and so when she was elected attorney general, she actually said, "You realize you're going to have to start calling me General Harris." So my feeling is that when she's president of the United States, oh, stop it. Stop I will it. call her Miss President. But until then, you're just Kamala. All right. Okay. You, no, I'm Big Sister. <laughs> Big Sister General. <laughs> You cannot be broke. I'm sorry. Like, broke and me don't work. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> like, you could drive for Uber. You could do, you could do Postmates. There's so many, like, um, things you could do online to make money. It's just like, to me, that's no excuse. I can't do broke. I'm allergic to it. I can't. I actually asked Jen if I could go get a job, and she told me no. And I'm like, damn, why? I like to switch notes using a lot of like what I call vocal flipping. So like, ah, uh, rather than like, <laughs> oh, honey, I am so not threatened by you. My man wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole. You're just mad because I have a Chad. And last time I checked, you don't have a man. So looks like you're the one that's panini pressed. Call a spade a spade, honey. Keep making content. Exercise exercise the act of exercising can give women can send women to poughkeepsie. poughkeepsie okay you can get orgasms by exercising now if they google that they're going to get something on poughkeepsie yeah <laughs> which is a lovely lovely sleepy town upstate yeah. new york yeah so that ain't the poughkeepsie we're so talking they about they say that if you brisk walk you can go to poughkeepsie depending on how thick your thighs are <laughs> Won't work for supermodels, but. <laughs> <laughs> and tell the folks at home what these things are called, Hoda. All right, I will. <laughs> They're called corgasms. <laughs> anyway, if 
if you guys have ever seen in the gym that thing called <laughs> The, the captain's, captain's chair, chair. is when, apparent, when apparently you, the way the way to go to Poughkeepsie. By the way, it's probably going to be the most popular piece of equipment <laughs> in the gym tomorrow. Here's the thing, though. How embarrassing oh would God. that be? What? If you're just don't even tell. I don't. mean, your mind in your own business. You got nothing. All of a sudden, ah, ah, they're going to send the the, the 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 geriatrics to come get you, and the PMTs and the EMTs and everybody. Oh. And how do you explain what just happened? I don't know how you do, but apparently spinning classes do it too. <laughs> Spinning classes and weightlifting. Okay, if you're weightlifting what, and rope climbing, obviously. <laughs> Ew. Uh, like JK, but like maybe not. But thank you for watching. But you hating ass bitches always have something to say. Hating ass bitch, but you're still watching my vids. What? 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 <laughs> You're so upset. But that's like okay because have a piece of bread, have a Xanax, relax because I said what I said.